Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to do an update reading for Irene. It was randomized and she was the one that kind of came through and was like, I want my update reading. So her energy seems to be very present, very happy, and ready. I don't know, maybe Irene has something to say, maybe she has some good news. I don't really know what's up, but I really felt called to doing her video first. I say first because I'm recording this videos in batches so like do a couple in one go and hers was the one that was like i'm going first i'm going first so let's just see how is irene doing right now like what's going on what's in her mind we have the two of swords reverse we have the we have judgment reverse we have the ten of oh wait well, whatever. We have the Ten of Swords reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse. That's a lot of reversals, but we'll see if it's good or bad. And then we have the Four of Wands upright. That's actually very good. So, how is Irene currently doing? I'm not like a hundred percent sure what's going on. But with this Two of Swords, let's start from the beginning and let's go from there and see what's you know what's going on. So the Two of Swords came out first. It came out reverse, so there could be a chance that Irene is very, very confused, and that's why she doesn't know uh, what option to do, wait, what choice to make, or what option to take, or like what path is the best for her. So it seems like she could be debating between two ideas, and she doesn't really know where to go or like what to do. <laughs> Tell me what to do. I don't know why that shiny song came up. So that could be the reason as to why this two of swords is reverse. But I, I. I'm leaning more actually that right now Irene has decided actually on a path and she's going for it. Uh, like it seems like there's another option but she may not be considering it as much. I do feel that she's leaning more towards a certain path or a certain journey and she kind of wants to go for it. But I do feel that yeah actually seeing how the, like what the net card is this actually makes more sense. There's okay there is a bit of confusion seems like there's an option kind of like slowly coming to the surface for Irene but there's a certain path that she has decided to take and she's kind of she has been working towards just going down that path down that journey but with this two of reverse I have a feeling that she might end up in a detour pretty soon I have a feeling that the universe life or something along those lines is going to kind of like push her in a different de not decision in a like different path right like or maybe a different option will present itself. There's something here about a potential divine detour. Divine detour. There you go. So maybe something's going to happen. Something divinely guided that will definitely shift Irene. And kind of like move her somewhere else. I do feel this could be something good. Um, because we have judgment reverse. So usually upright judgment talks about doing your life purpose. Following your inner calling. Like you know kind of waking up and f finally doing what your heart you know what your heart is telling you or finally doing what you've been destined to do something along those lines right so with this judgment card reversed i do feel that irene hasn't really found her life purpose or she hasn't really worked towards that or maybe she already feels like there's something that she wants to do but um she she maybe is kind of rejecting it or neglecting it or there's also a chance that she finally wants to do what's right for her finally do what she feels called out to do but she doesn't really know how to physically make that happen so let's say this is an example let's say irene is like i want to save the world right okay that's that's the life purpose that she has put for herself right but maybe she doesn't really know how to go about it like maybe first she needs to define what does it mean to save the world right what does a saved world look like to me and then okay this is what it looks like okay then how can i what can i do to achieve that goal and work towards that so i do feel that in this case this judgment card might be that Irene maybe already has a feeling of what she wants to do. So this like these two cards I feel are working together. Like there's this sense that Irene knows where she wants to go and what she wants to do. So she probably has a goal in mind, but she probably doesn't really know how to approach it, or maybe she doesn't really have like the physical plan or idea of how to manifest something that she feels like she wants to do, or 
or like it's not completely tangible right now right let's just put it that way so i do feel that that judgment card reverse could be that she's a little bit confused about how she wants to go about something because she doesn't have all the answers or she doesn't really or maybe she wants to do something that hasn't really been done before so she doesn't have a predetermined path or um this like 3d physical guidance on how she can go about what she wants to do so i do feel that this judgment card reverse could be that irene just doesn't really know how to manifest her dream or manifest that purpose that she has in mind so there's still some confusion going on oh don't worry irene i got you i just realized i didn't have the lights on so don't worry irene i'm a i'm going to light you up i don't know what light me up is about but if it's about you know Giving someone hope and happiness. I'm about to give some hope and happiness to Irene's energy. May I bring some clarity to her energy. May the messages of this interpretation reach Irene. Wherever she, sit, wherever she is and whenever she needs it. So we have the Ten of Swords reverse. So this tells me that there's a lot going on in Irene's mind. But she's not necessarily overwhelmed. Well, let me rephrase that. She could be overwhelmed, but it's not getting in the way of her everyday life. It's not necessarily getting, like, how should I put it? So, we won't necessarily see Irene stressed, nor will we really see her mad or sad or upset about something. She may not even seem anxious at all. Because, yeah, she's overthinking something. There's probably a, like, like a ceiling ideas running through her mind at once. Um, because she's probably thinking, okay, this is my goal, but how am I going to do it? How am I going to get there? How will I approach it? What are the possibilities? What are the options? Um, she's thinking a lot. But it's not... You know, that's because she's more like analyzing something rather than uh, being discouraged, annoyed, or bothered by it right now. However, the this Ten of Swords reverse, I do feel that it's kind of saying that her overthinking though is kind of slowing down her process. So the Eight of Wands upright usually talks about someone that has a target, a goal, and they put all their focus and energy into that one goal. Um, so this is a very fast moving energy. But with this card being reversed, I do feel that since Irene is still in the thinking, planning stages of her manifestation, she hasn't really taken action towards her goal because she still doesn't really know where she's aiming at, right? Um, she herself is ready to take action, but the path that she wants to take is not 100% certain because I do feel that there could be some, one of two things could be happening. Either she doesn't have the path that will n take her from point A to point B or she is walking towards some path and she's hoping that that takes her to point B, right? Like she's hoping it takes her to her goal. And it's like, okay, I have this goal in mind. I'm going to do this and we'll see where that takes me, right? Like maybe she's hoping that along the way she finds people that will guide her in the right direction or um, maybe she's hoping that as she goes along she'll get the inspiration that will guide her the right way. So either, look, Irene is moving but I don't know if she's physically taking action towards something or if her movement right now is all within her mind as in like planning, learning, and uh, gathering people that could potentially guide her down her path, right? So I don't really know. Uh, she's taking action for sure. I just don't know in what way that action is manifesting. Let me put it that way. But we have the four of ones at the end of her current energy. So this tells me that right now she's in a very good state. At home, everything's well. She feels stable. She feels centered. There's a lot of stuff that she can celebrate. Um, here it seems like there's some sort of union going on. So I do feel that in this case, she feels her like her relationships are going well. That they're bringing her a lot of support and a lot of stability. The four of ones talks about a uh, safe home. It talks about... I don't know why I wanted to say save heaven of sorts. So I guess that's how she feels right now. Like she feels secure. She feels safe. She feels rooted, centered, stable, safe, comfortable, anything that's good. Um, she has a space where she feels very good right now. She feels like everything's working out. She feels like everything is meant to be, everything's centered. So I do feel that in this case, her relationships are giving her the support that she needs and are able to create this space for her where she feels at home. And she is able to kind of like regroup in a way if things get a little bit too difficult down her journey. But all I'm saying is that right now she's in a very good space within herself. I do feel that this is kind of like one of the things that I'm learning. That I think that she's, that Irene right now is in a very good state. In the sense of like, 
being able to be your own home, being able to be your own temple, being able to feel comfortable within your own skin, that type of energy, right? So it's kind of like she's carrying home within herself. And because of that, she's able to stay very centered. And because of that, it allows her to just walk into the unknown with all the confidence and comfort in the world because she is doing well for herself right now. That kind of, that kind of vibe. So let's go on to the next section of her update. So let's see what's going on with Irene's career. A lot is going on, but I'm just going to take the cards that we see right here, which is um, new moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side, and full moon in Libra, a win-win outcome is forecasted. And when I saw luck, I wanted to say lucky girl from Red Velvet, right? What is, is it really called lucky girl? I'm not 100%. I'm not the rebel love. My sister is the rebel love. Um, but anyway, so she'll know. Editor Monkey will put the right song right there. Anyway, just one more card. What's going on with Irene's career? Irene, what's going on with your career? We have the Five of Cups. Okay, this is actually very good. Not the Five of Cups necessarily, but it's good because of the Oracle cards that came here. So... The Oracle cards feel like what Destiny wants to say or what life wants to say to Irene, while the Five of Cups feels like what she's feeling in her career right now. So the Five of Cups talks about someone that is a little bit pessimistic, you know, someone that's crying over spoiled milk, someone that's focusing on the things that are not working out, the things that are kind of, you know, Five talks about challenges, difficulties, and turmoils of sorts, right? Like something's not working out. Um, but in the Five of Cups, usually we see three cups that are that have fallen over, someone that is in distress when they're facing those three cups that are falling over, and they don't focus on the two cups that are perfectly fine, full, and okay on the back, right? So I do feel that in this case, Irene could feel in her career that things are not working out. Maybe she's focusing, focusing more on um, things that she doesn't have, things that are not happening, or things that have not succeeded to her expectations, right? So she's a little bit more in the download, a little bit pessimistic about her career. However, we have a full moon in Libra with a win-win outcast. It's forecasted and luck is on your side. So with these two energies, I do feel that there's a lot of good energy for Irene's career. Like things are going to pick up, things are going to go well, things are going to succeed. You know, there's good things, there's good fortune for her right right now. Um, with this new moon, seems like there's a new beginning filled with a lot of good luck for her, a lot of good fortune, a lot of uh, blessings coming through. So um there's nothing that she has to worry about. And with a full moon in Libra, is like when things finally manifest and things um, seem like, it seems like everything's going well, a win-win outcast is forecasted. It's kind of saying, but there's even more to go. Like there's even better things coming after. So I do feel that right now, Irene is just kind of picking up and getting a lot of good things in her career. It seems like it could be a lot of, um, what is it called? A lot of requests and offers from outside of Korea with the Sagittarius energy. Like it seems like maybe some foreign opportunities. Um, but then with this Libra card, I do feel that it's something that will be, bring her a lot of harmony, a lot of balance. It's gonna be fair in the sense of like it's exactly what she wants, or it's it's going to be like she's going to be recognized for her work or something along those lines. Like this Libra energy definitely feels like she will do something, and she will definitely be recognized for that hard work, or she will do something, um, and she will be rewarded accordingly to that work that she puts in. So there's something about being fair, something. Um, you know, it's a lot of good energy, a lot of optimism with Libra and Sagittarius put together. So it definitely feels like, maybe Irene feels like things are not really working out in her career, but life is like, just you wait. There's a lot of good things about to come. So that seems to be the vibes right now. Let's see what's going on with Irene's love life. So Irene, what's going on with your love life? Uh, fake, uh, fake. What's going on with Irene's love life? We have new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate, and we have new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. So maybe uh, there could, you know, we have two new beginnings with a new moon in Pisces and a new moon in Libra. New moons talk, talk about a new, what is it called? A new beginning, a new chapter, something new in life. So I do feel that Irene has been reflecting a lot on herself. She may be reflecting a lot on her 
surroundings, her environment, maybe the people she wants in her life or the people she will want to date. Like maybe she has like an idea of how she wants her love life to look like or maybe she has an idea of what type of person she would want as a partner and whatever that is, I do feel that meditate and contemplate is kind of showing that that energy she has been in has been very beneficial because she unconsciously has been manifesting her love life so maybe by saying you know i want a partner like this or it will be nice if i had someone like that or it will be nice if i had a love life like this like that i will tolerate this these are my boundaries so i don't want this to happen like she kind of has um in a way manifested her love life by just saying this is what i want and this is not what i want right um and I do feel that with this meditate and contemplate, if Irene continues down that path and down that journey, she will be slowly opening the door to love. Slowly she will be opening the gates and the energy for someone to come in or for uh, a new, you know, for her love life to start picking up, basically. Um, but there's a lot of harmony. There's balance in her career. There's balance in her love life. There's a lot of good news. Also, we have uh, Pisces and Libra energies. I do feel that there's a lot of dreaminess, uh, very magical and out of this world type of love. I do feel that Irene will probably be a giggling mess or she will be very happy and so much and filled with so much happiness basically and love and care and all of these things that she will almost feel like this is not real it's out of this world. It's like, how is this possible? She will not believe the type of uh, romantic life that destiny has uh, packed for her as in like receiving a package or prepared for her something along those lines right so it's, it's something you know Irene said this is what I want and life said and it has been shipped aha for her relationship boom ching anyway more information about Irene's love life we have the world reverse so i do feel that maybe right now the timing is a little bit off in the sense as there's some things that irene has to like work on with a meditate and contemplate it definitely feels like irene still has to do some reflecting on herself some work on herself but it seems like right now the timing is not fully there is not fully right but eventually it will reach that point where the beginning of her love life will slowly manifest and whatever irene wants in her love life it will definitely come true it will slowly become real and so on so on so let's check irene's healing messages any healing messages for irene bring them through bring them out oh we have the rabbit spirit with now it's a lucky time okay so i do feel that the luckiest so right now irene is like super 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 lucky we have a bunny um i actually don't know what animal represents irene but if there was one that did it will be the bunny which i think it is but right now i'm not like 100 percent, so i don't so i don't want to say that it is but if the bunny is actually the card you know the animal that represents irene then i do have to say that it just kind of confirms that you know we have luckiness here we have lucky here and then harmony in her love life so i do feel that there's a lot of good fortune for irene there's a lot of blessings coming her way and that's kind of like her update there's just a bunch of good things going on for her right now and i do feel with now is a lucky time it's like I'm getting the phrase hit you know hit the iron while it's hot or something like that it's kind of it definitely feels like right now the energy is ready for her to just be abundant it's ready for her to just for things to just work out for her basically so if many of you have been praying out there for things to you know to go well for Irene I think your prayers have been hurt as well and because of that you know with Irene's hard work and with all of your good energy out there, I do feel that it has helped her to just, you know, finally be in an energy where she can be rewarded for her hard work of sorts. But yeah, I do feel like the only thing that's going to take a little bit of time will be her love life because I do feel that she will probably focus on something that is not necessarily love related, um, but it's something that um, she will probably take through the path of her career of sorts. So a lot of good things for... Irene. Now let's take out the tea leaf and see if there's anything else that has to be said. So yeah, now it's a lucky time. The rabbit spirit is saying abundance, uh, 
a bunch of good luck and blessings for her in every oh look what we have wishbone with a wish is granted so i do feel that she will feel lucky because something that she has been asking for or something that she has been praying for and wishing for is going to happen it's going to come true we have ink pot with problems to be resolved so i do feel i'm going to put it right here with a meditation i do feel that there's just some issues that she's solving some you know kind of cleaning house i feel or she's actually i'm going to put it here i feel it's a little bit general I do feel like there's just some um, issues or problems that she's kind of been resolving slowly. You know, talking to the right people um, to solve whatever challenges she has or making amends with previous situations and maybe getting rid of some limiting beliefs or anything that has gotten on her way of just doing something different, going into the unknown or to embark on this journey. She has definitely slowly worked through that, healed what had to be healed. Um, and learn the things that had to be learned. She has definitely done her part to grow as a person. Next, we have desk with pay attention to your work. So I do feel that life wants her to pay attention to her work because she could be, she could be in such a pessimistic state that sometimes she doesn't see the blessings that are coming her way, or she could be a bit discouraged and a little bit down because. Uh, of how difficult her career has been lately that she may um life wants her to just push a little bit more into her career so those blessings are encountered so i do feel it's gonna take you know there's just a little bit more that irene has to do you know just a little push it's like the last home stretch i think that's what they call it right it's like there's just a little bit more that she has to do and eventually those blessings are going to be pouring and coming down her way then we have Feather with someone you know is undependable and insincere. Um, I don't know where to put this, but I'll, I'll leave this here in the healing messages. I do feel that this card is kind of saying like there could be someone in Irene's circles that is not a very good influence or is someone that she that has to let go of. So it could be... Uh, it could be a family member, a friend, a co-worker, or it could just be someone within her circles. Um, she doesn't even have to be that close to that person, but there's definitely someone within her circles that um, maybe someone that just wants to work with her, but they don't really care to get to know her as a person, something like that. You know, it definitely feels that with that feather. It's just a warning of like, you know, there's always going to be people out there that are just very superficial, so keep that in mind. Or maybe this could go here with her love life as well like there could be someone that just wants something superficial nothing deep nothing meaningful or stuff like that and if that's the case irene could be giving a warning of like whenever you see a sign of someone that is not really it just drop them don't even bother with that person don't even bother with those circles okay one last message for irene just 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 one more hold up hold up one more message for Irene. Say what has to be said. One more. One last message for... Oh, one... Okay. <laughs> we have kangaroo with unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. So I actually will put this here. So I do feel that the energy is very malleable like, right now for Irene. Like there's a lot of things that can change. Nothing is set in stone. I saw the bottom of the deck for her Moonology cards. And I actually want to bring it back up. Because I do feel that um, this kind of makes sense. Oh. <laughs> this kind of makes sense with what we saw with the kangaroo. Um, the card that was at the bottom of the deck was this one. Third quarter moon with adjustments are required. Um, and I thought it was important, but I didn't take it out because I was like, oh, we have enough cards, it's fine like that. But for whatever reason, I felt, uh, like, I felt the need to actually look at the bottom of the deck, and with adjustments are required, and this kangaroo card with unsettled times need to plan ahead. I do feel that in this case with Irene, the message is very clear, as in, like, nothing is set in stone, the energy still, um, it can change, things can, um, adjust differently than what she expects and i do feel that with the plan ahead there's this thing of like irene is pretty fearless right now and she's just like walking forward into the unknown without um you know she has a goal in mind but she doesn't have a set 
uh, plan on how things have to work out or how things have to go. Uh, she's kind of just trusting in the process and just going with the experience and just going down the adventure and the journey without um, planning much. So I do feel that life is just giving her a warning that things are not necessarily set in stone. So she should plan ahead so that not necessarily stay attached to her expectations and be like things are going to go this way you know things are going to go according to plan but i do feel that life is kind of telling her and giving her a warning to not necessarily a warning but an advice actually to just try to plan a little bit of what she wants to do or how she wants to go about things so like that she can prepare herself for the for whatever life brings her way but i do feel with the adjustments are required it's kind of like she needs to be ready for the unexpected and also um, because there's good things going on. But also because I, I do feel that there's, there's since nothing is set in stone, uh, opportunities can come out of nowhere. So if she plans how she wants things to happen or if she plans what her goals are, she could slowly prepare for those things. And by doing that, she will bring a lot more good luck and a lot of good fortune for herself because then an opportunity could come her way because she already has the skill. So then an opportunity will present her itself and be like, oh, I, you know, we noticed that you're working on this skill and we would like to give you this opportunity. That, you know, and you may feel like, oh, how lucky Irene is. But, you know, she was able to bring that opportunity on herself because she's working on her own skills and working on herself and doing those things that will bring good fortune and good opportunities for her, right? So in that way, being recognized for her hard work type of thing. So yeah, I'll leave that there. Seems like there's a bunch of good things for Irene out there. So I hope that you guys send her a lot, lots of love and a lot, a lot of good vibes. So hopefully she gets even a lot of beautiful and more abundant blessings out there and a lot of good fortune. Um... I do feel that things are going definitely uphill for Irene right now. And yeah, I don't think there's anything more I have to say here. So I'll see you in the next one or whenever that is, however that it is. I hope you like this reading, they find it entertaining or that you learn from it. And love and healing from my part to you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!